hey guys it's hi welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my series welcome to the second video of my manifesting 101 power series where we go back to the basics of manifesting and revisit the things that we need to manifest and also bring in some new people that are learning how to manifest and need a step-by-step -step what the hell is manifesting what the hell is the law of assumption how the hell do i manifest guess who's here for you girl boy person I am. I'm here for you and I'm here to help you. And this series is all about helping you get your desire. Thing you need to know. Everything you need to know. That being said, today's video is manifesting basics. The basics of manifesting, what manifesting is, how we manifest, what the law of assumption is, what the hell. So as we have discussed in the last video, we know that the law of assumption is what I teach and the law of assumption is based around the fact that what we assume to be true is true, meaning our thoughts hold the power. Our thoughts are a reflection of our reality. This is known as everyone is you pushed out. The world is pushed out the way you see it, the way you perceive it, the world is going to show up that way. I know you probably hear a lot of people say, well, if you have a bad self-concept, you're not going to be able to manifest. The reason this is, is because how you view yourself, how you view the world, how you view everything, it's going to affect everything around you because our thoughts create our 3D reality. Our thoughts create what we are seeing all around us in every single aspect of our life. It is based solely around our thoughts and what we are thinking and what we assume is going to happen. Let me give a little bit of example of this. If you have a friend that is just really shitty they always do shitty things to you all the time you have now formed an assumption that they're going to do shitty things to you whether or not they have done that in the past you have an assumption now that they are going to continue to show up doing shitty ass things to you which is guess what is going to manifest and they're going to continue doing shitty ass things to you or have you ever i don't know worried like oh oh my god am i gonna like see this person at the store or something like i really hope i don't see them and then you see them you manifest that because what you think about in your thoughts will create the reality around us and a lot of the times we are not aware of everything that we're manifesting um and that's because we manifest all the time every second of the day we are always manifesting we are always affirming and that's why i always tell people they're like well can i manifest multiple things at once we are we are always manifesting multiple things at once we are manifesting everything at once so yes you can manifest multiple things at once that being said we have control over every aspect of our life we have control over who shows up and how they show up what they do how they act, how the world is, how people treat us, everything. We have control over all of this because of our thoughts. And we have a full control over our thoughts. As much as people don't want to admit that, obviously there's there's some exceptions, like people with OCD and intrusive thoughts and things like that. Um, but for the most part, we control every single one of our thoughts. And I don't mean we control what pops up in our head because what pops up in our head is random. We have so many thoughts a day. How many thoughts do we have a day per right year? Mm -hmm. We have so many thoughts a day. We can't control every single one that pops up, but we can control how we react to them. That is something you can control. You can control how you react to every single thought that pops into your mind. So here are a few main things that you should focus on um, while manifesting and things like that. Just little things that you should focus on and bring your awareness to. The first main one is become aware of your thoughts. Pay way more attention to your thoughts. When you start to manifest, you will realize you are a negative person probably. You probably think a ton of negative shit because we are hardwired to do that. We are actually hardwired to look at logical sides of things, um, figure out the worst case scenarios because our brains are always wired to survive. We're wired to do what's logical in order to survive. But guess what? It's not the caveman days. It's not the caveman days. We are living in the 21st century and guess what? We get to manifest our SPs. Be aware of your thoughts. Ask yourself, figure out if you are thinking thoughts that are trying to be super logical and being like, well, my SP said this, so it means it's true. Hell no, it doesn't. You can change whatever anyone says to you. Uh, you they got you got fired for the job from your job. Hell no, you didn't. You didn't get fired from your job. You're gonna continue to affirm and persist on that, and you will not be fired from your job anymore. Um, bring awareness to your thoughts and what thought patterns you sit on. Um, where your resistance lies maybe you spiral or have more doubts around some certain parts of your life or things like that and when you bring awareness to your thoughts you will be able to remove these because you will be aware of them the next thing is to rewire negative assumptions like i said we are probably we are negative people we you will probably realize that you are a negative person once you start to manifest this is normal like i said we are hardwired 
to be negative. This world is hardwiring us to be negative, to be sad, to be all of these negative things. And that is how our brains are wired now. This, and we are taught these things because they want to control us. This huge, this, this world wants to control us. This world doesn't want us to know our power. So we have to rewire our negative beliefs. We have to rewire our subconscious into knowing, hell yes, everyone likes me. No one's ever gonna reject me. I'll get everything that I want because I say I can. I'm powerful. No one can take my strength away. I hold power in my reality. You have to rewire these assumptions in your mind to help you. Another big part is daydreaming and pretending. Pretending is a big, big part of manifesting um, because what we need to manifest, the only thing we need to manifest is to live in the end. And living in the end, I did a huge video on it. Here it is if you wanna check it out. Living in the end is basically pretending like you have your desire. What would you be doing? What would you be feeling? How would you be acting if your desire was right here? That's how I explain it. If your desire was right here, if your SP was right here confessing their love to you, how would you be feeling? How would you be thinking? And how would you be acting? And you just have to sit on that in your mind, just in your mind as much as you want. And that is considered manifesting, living in the end. And as long as you do that consistently, you will manifest. That's just an easy way to live in the end, an easy way to manifest. That's not the only way to manifest, by the way. Another thing to remember is you have control over everything. You are in control of your reality. You are the God of your reality. Or if you don't like that because you're religious of any types, anything you don't want to be known as a God, you are the controller of your reality. You are the power source. You do not want to give your power away to the universe. You do not want to give your power away to other things. These are all powerful things, but guess what? We are them. We are the universe. We are this power source and we control what we want that's literally it and if anyone tries to make you feel like that is not true or that it's egotistical to think they do not want to take accountability for the power because knowing that you are powerful and knowing that you have the power to get what you want is not egotistical by the way knowing your power does not mean that you are a selfish egotistical person it means you know your power and you know your worth that is self-respect and the other thing is is are you thinking as if a lot of the time when manifesting people will affirm a ton they will affirm a ton and they'll do great they'll consistently affirm all the time but when they're not affirming no 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 they will think of anything they want to they will visit the old story they will not let go of the old story which is important to do you want to you want to let go of what happened in the past and just focus on it being exactly how you want it to be um so make sure you're doing that make sure that if you are affirming a ton make sure that not affirming for a second you are not spiraling or acknowledging the old story or worrying about where movement is or focusing on time don't do any of that just keep living as if this is already yours what would you be doing what would you be thinking what would you how would you be acting if this was yours this thing is not something where you do the three six nine method once and then dwell on everything else the rest of the day and expect it to be there tomorrow that is not manifesting manifesting is a mindset switch it is a consistent mindset pattern that you have flipped into having what you want now that is not me saying you can't manifest that fast or overnight or something or the three six nine method doesn't work no i'm not saying that but i'm saying it is a mindset switch it's not something where you can be like i'll do one little thing one day and dwell and think about the old story and complain about it all the other days and the rest of the days and it'll be here no it's a mindset thing and the biggest thing is to be consistent when i coach people this is the biggest thing that i see that they do they are not consistent and the three main things that they do are they will look for movement they will go around looking for movement they'll affirm and then they'll be like you know what i need to find movement right now because i've been affirming so yeah no don't do that when you start to look for movement you are now affirming that you are not seeing movement because you will not see movement if you have to look for movement the 3d has not conformed and you will not see what you want so then when you go looking for it you will just be subconsciously affirming you don't see movement which will manifest they dwell on what their SPs are doing or what the 3D is showing. They'll complain about it or they'll they'll always focus on it. They won't let it go. They will continue to hold on to it and they will not let go of the old story, which will not let you go to the reality where you have what you want. So that's a big thing. And the last thing is, like I said earlier, they will affirm and affirm. And then when they aren't affirming, they won't be consistent and they will just dwell and focus on the 3D and all of that. It's like the little basics to manifesting what you need to manifest, some things you can be aware of um, and things like that. Um, next video is going to be on revision and what revision is and how we can use it to manifest. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, watching this video has helped you manifest. Say it with me. Watching this video helped me manifest. Watching this video has helped me manifest. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.